So whenever you need to heal something up, you need to set your heal key to release. But if you hold down your heal, so like I have my AFAC on nine, I hold down nine and then scroll wheel. It gives me the option to actually select what I want to heal. I need to get better at remembering that that's an option. It's muscle memory at this point because I've played so many hours on the, the old healing system. But that's new. This wipe it is one of the best changes, honestly, and will save your life sooner or later, I'm sure. Because there's times where you get damaged up, your thorax is hurt, but you have a bleed. Like your thorax is super hurt, but you have a, sm a small bleed on your leg. The game will prioritize that small bleed first when you actually should be healing your thorax. So again, you have to go into settings and set whatever keybind you use to heal up with. Set it to release instead of press or continuous. Set it to release and you hold it down and scroll wheel or whatever you use for next slash previous. Most most people will have used scroll wheel for next slash previous. The double click option is sick as well, dude. That's another one is you can just double click and it'll automatically use it. Look what I got. We got our weapon stand. There's two sides to it, too. Woo -hoo -hoo. Look at that, dude. You can actually like switch to weapon stand. Oh, wait, no. You got transfer items. There we go. Then you can pull in and out items. Yeah. The weapon stands nice. And this is just level one. So it's getting even better. What's your tip for endurance leveling? Bring in a couple stems that help with uh, your endurance overall. So like an SJ6 or a 3B or both. Or you can do the um, trim it all. But that gives a painkiller effect. I don't like the painkiller effect. But yeah, basically bring one of those in and pop it at the start of the round before you sprint. Your first sprint, you get bonus XP for distance traveled. So basically, if you sprint as far as you can on your first sprint, you get that bonus XP. And if you bring in like an SJ6 or one of the endurance stims, you can sprint further. So you get more bonus XP. But it's just on the first sprint. Crouching will also cancel it out. So in first sprint or crouch. So don't crouch off the start. Off the stem and take off sprinting and sprint all the way until you can't anymore. And some more tips on leveling. Uh, perception and attention get leveled up by picking stuff up. And so as you go throughout the raid, anything you're searching, you know, stashes, cases, bodies, if there's an item you don't want, pick it up and drop it. And then if there's a body that and there's a, if there's a body that's not necessarily safe to loot, but it's safe enough to tap F on it, run up to it, tap F. Tab out immediately. So we got 115 XP there. We'll do it again. Boom. That's search XP. And it also helps with your overall level. And then if you survive, you get a 30% bonus modifier. And if you headshot stuff, you get twice as much XP, a little over twice as much as you would any other type of kill. So headshot what you can, scabs especially. Loot what you can. And if it's not safe to loot, but you could tap F on the body and tap out, do it. Your first sprint of the round, sprint all the way. Players have army. I need scav kills along long road. Otherwise, I would let him play. Is it? He probably waited in a long time in queue. Get the 
just got feel some. Sorry, brother. I forgot what I was saying. I don't know if I finished that full train of thought, but yeah, basically that's the way you can get bonus XP. Oh, also, yeah, eat and drink anything you find in raid. What if your metab or if your hydration and energy are lower than 100, and it's almost always going to be lower than 100. And I'll do it at the end of the raid because I'm not in a safe spot to do it. And I have to search this bag because your metabolism level is based off of the how much energy and hydration you regain. You can level it up and hide out. But in raid, if you if you come across food or hydrate, uh, food or drink, eat or drink it. You level up that metabolism fast. But yeah, as a whole, this wipe versus last wipe, night and day difference. Last wipe started terribly, honestly. Not in terms of like my performance, but just the game's performance. The amount of bugs that came with last wipe, the most I'd ever seen in Tarkov. Like it was hands down the worst version of Tarkov I'd ever played. The the and they were game breaking bugs like there's a bunch of bugs with tarkov but they're not game breaking they're annoying right but they're not game breaking the invisible players last wipe game breaking the um desync and hit reg issues awful the lag or, or not like but the the cheaters the most i'd ever seen um the audio issues worst version of audio i had seen in a video game period overall quality of like the quest line and all that not good either because they they had in the um capturing outpost still as uh kappa requirement and stuff so it's it just like the overall the only good th and the la flashlight bug yeah overall the the good thing about last wipe was they added in streets which was awesome but then the rubber banding on streets the performance off the start was terrible like it was not not a good wipe um but they redeemed it midway through and they started fixing some of those things and fixing some of those things and fixing some of those things or mitigating it and it, it got better over time. This wipe, they started off with a banger. The, the streets expansion, solid. The changes to the quest line, solid. Um, it feels like the quest line went in the right direction on the changes. The painkiller effect, not all that great. Um, I'm not a fan of it. But I didn't pre-paint a lot anyway. So I'm used to running around with a morphine and stabbing myself if I get a broken limb. So that works better. Scavs equals better. The UI changes, solid. Um, being able to select like headwear and body armor, solid. Um, the per server performance, awesome. Like compared to last wipe, it's fine. You know, could always be a little better. Sure. Cause it's an online multiplayer game. There's going to be desync, but yeah, it's, it's been a lot better. I think there, there's been a collective quite, quite a, a big difference on the collective amount of complaints from this wipe to last wipe just like having a larger community having people come in and and be like yo this wipe fucking sucks compared to yo this wipe fucking rocks big difference between the two um or this wipe is amazing or this wipe isn't right it's big difference between the two and so overall dude this is this is a big difference on uh quality of life and just like the, the game's playability this wipe's a lot of fun there's still, you know, a couple issues with the quest line and stuff, but this is kind of, in my opinion, like the bar of where it should be for a wipe. Like when they wipe and they add stuff in, it shouldn't add in more bugs and, and nothing groundbreaking. It's, yeah, it's, it's thumbs up for me, honestly. That was a good one. I'm very excited to wake up and like play. And last wipe I was too, but then I'd get on and play and it would just piss me off and I'd want to go do something else. <laughs> and like this wipe, dude, I've it's like one more, one more one more one more dude i stayed up to like 8 a.m last night yeah it's been a blast man and this is just the start of it like i'm gonna be going so hard this wipe with uh, a bunch of fun content we're gonna be doing a bunch of special challenges like sprint challenges not not the super long ones but the ones that take like a day to a week
Hey, pussy boy. <laughs> Kill me. <laughs> 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 you you were saying? That's a good roll. Good round. Got three headies. That's a good one. 